Alright, hey folks. Let's here. So, um, when last we left our noble hero, we were going to go do some stat grinding. Um, and by we, I mean my faithful assistant over here. And as you can see, some serious progress was made in that everything is maxed. I have to say, um, when I found out how I could max magic, it's ridiculous. Um, so you back a bunny into a corner, and then you very quickly hit the cast spell buttons, including the spells that we don't have in this particular case, um, so that it doesn't actually have time to finish casting them. And you can max it without actually wearing down your magic. It's ridiculous. I love it. Yield back the bunny into the corner for all your stat grinding needs. What would we do without the bunnies? I don't know. Have low stats, apparently. Again, your sleep is disturbed by the sound of voices. There! I think I am getting something this time. A rootin' tootin' root beer commercial? No, 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 no. I, I think I'm getting him. If I could only adjust the fine tuning on this thing, uh, hand me those pliers. What if I just turn this knob here? Don't touch that. Now a strange voice in tones. Eeny, meeny, chilly, beeny. The spirits are about to speak. You find yourself thinking, are they friendly spirits? Before you realize, we're just dreaming. Or oh, were you? You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Okay, so we're being spied on. Yay. Alright, let's go have a nice nourishing breakfast. Always important. Always important. And then... We actually... It's sausage and peppers fried with garlic don't have that much more to do you get before we kick off the end game well end game part one good day and good to see you again oh it's good to see you too good to see you Take care. So I think we should go visit our friends in the camp. See if they have any more to tell me. I think I still have one reading. I think, it, yeah, at least one. I'm trying to remember because it's been a few weeks since we've had a chance to sit down and record. I'm trying to remember what things we still have to do. Well, I have a couple uh, pieces of paper to track down. Did we settle Boris and Olga? I think so. We can check in with Boris. Yeah. Like that's too far east. I think I am too far east. Yep. Then. The hero really isn't very good at running away from things. Hey, I resemble that remark. I should hope so, you're a paladin. Yeah, pa running away is my dump stat. I'm seeing like a t-shirt design. I have had many dreams about you, but last night I dreamed of a child. Her back was turned from me at first, but she was calling softly for her mama. Then she turned around and her eyes glowed like fire. She spoke again and called your name. That was all I saw and heard. Gosh, I wonder who that could be. Well, let's see. 
You will always be welcome here. Thanks. I tell about Rakish and your adventures in Tana. You fought a this demon? Oh, but no, no. Let's see if I tell about your meeting with Katrina. Same meeting. I this. have no knowledge. Oh, don't we also have to go say hi to Katrina at the castle gates at some point? We have to hunt farther and farther. Mm, nothing new here. I have been well. Okay. I think we hadn't gotten around again. To that, the cards are pre Queen of Cups. Ah. This is the actual King of Cups. A woman of loving shall be revealed. What may we now learn of her distant past? This is the sign of magic and creativity. She, as the others who influence your life, has the power. She is the one to whom magic has been the strongest influence upon her life. She is a master weaver of spells. Now, what next can we learn? But could she glide? Covering as well as I can. The Ace of Cups is the sign of overflowing joy and happiness. This is a woman who uses her power joyfully, giving gracefully and lovingly to others. Oh, that's nice. Ah, she is generous and loving, and she has shown this through her use of magic. This woman gives from her heart. I'm sure nothing bad will fall What about. now can we learn? Nothing about gliding, though. No. Maybe she has other spells. Ah, your gentlewoman too has been bound by something. A crisis has occurred. A defeat or imprisonment by someone. Now, what more can we learn? Dang, it's all imprisoned wizards around here. Yeah, jeez. This is a sign of balanced force. A stalemate. Of things not coming to a resolution. That with which the woman came in conflict has also been held in check. They were locked in battle, or they were both defeated in the past. What then of... Okay. The hanged man is the symbol of sacrifice. Conflict in the past required this woman to give up something of great value. She has paid some great price, but the outcome is uncertain. Let us... <laughs> Alas, this card shows a tomb and someone at final rest. The woman's sacrifice was exile, or possibly even death. Yet, her sacrifice still affects you. Somehow I cannot believe that her sacrifice was in vain. Now... Nice, okay. Nice. Here we go, the void. I had to show up sooner or later. The Dark One. This is the first time in these readings that the darkness which lies waiting has been active rather than merely a major influence. Somehow, this woman is bound by the darkness. Whether she has been subverted or destroyed, I cannot tell. But something remains, or else there would be no reading. I think that this powerful woman battled with the Dark One. She was defeated, or perhaps sacrificed herself to prevent hmm. it from entering Who this world. Who could that be? But what will the outcome of all this be? Hmm. Not very pixelated card. You! It's me. You are not only a friend to the gypsies, but a great hero as well. Oh, your destiny shall affect the world, my young friend. Really? 
You will determine the fate of this woman. You shall face the Dark One. Reveal the final influence upon this feeding. So the darkness still covers I, all. I think I figured I out the problem with this that you might be tarot deck. That you might not have to face the darkness. But that is the way of the hero, is it not? To face that which others fear and dread. This tarot deck appears Bona, to be about half void cards. Learn what you cards. can of the dark one. The more you know of your enemy, the greater the chances you have against it. The cards have... Alright. Well, that was fun. Cheerful. You say... Turn ye... Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like, uh... The void is not something you run for of. No, well, apparently they did. All right, I think it might be a good idea to mosey down to the swamp. Also, I feel like the legend rule should apply. Magic jokes for those of you not paying attention or not familiar with the game. If you play a second void while one is already in play, you should have to pick one and then get rid of the other. That's more legendary than the dark one. Look at us just frying that with magic we don't have. Are you kidding? Apparently I have lots of magic. Yes, lots of spells, spells, but only when I'm in combat. Spells we never learn. No, I just have them. Only in combat. Yeah. Now the trouble with monsters in this game. Searching for the fallen beast, you find nothing of value, unless you were. Is that? Well, to be fair, you don't actually need money in this game, basically at all. No, but you know, I could get nice shiny objects that would make me feel good about my heroing. There's something. Oops, too far over. Come on. There you go. Good job, Delon. Hero pathfinding. It's the pathiest. Okay. Now, I don't remember how to do this part, so there may be some dying involved. You're outside. Yeah. Yeah, I actually don't think I've ever done this the correct way for a fighter paladin. Yeah, so I have to go over here. And I don't remember. Well, it seems to me you're the but... wizard with the biggest glide skill in, like, existence. Mm. Be a waste of everything to not glide. My spell skill is 242. As you start to glide, you realize the only way to get back onto the dry areas will be to grab hold of something and pull yourself up. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I think you just kind of go west for a while. Yeah. Oh, whoops, whoops. Apparently I pulled myself up on that. And possibly south? I go west for a couple screens and then I go south. It's somewhere around here. You sense terrible danger here. Terrible danger? There is a great evil about this place. Okay, I might want to uh, just glide over here.
and then unfortunately we can't get to the magic menu. And that's because I'm still he's still gliding. Sure. That's that's really what a person who's gliding is like. Hey, I'm very talented at the glide spell. I can't argue with that. This is objective evidence that you are excellent at the glide spell. This screen used to be pretty buggy back in the day. Yeah, it did. But I think the GOG version is is okay. good. So now, if we come back over here. And we save. Yes. Saving is good. So I think um, the way you're actually supposed to do this is just walking through the swamp as a fighter paladin. But, Brute uh, force! Yeah. But we spent all that time training Glide, and you never really have another use for it. The standing stone looks like a crude, oversized tombstone. It was an inset, six-pointed star figure, similar to the one on the monastery door. The points are slightly curved, like the arms of a starfish. Arcane symbols label each point of the star. Let's see. I wonder if we have anything we can use on this. The Dark One sign clicks into the depression in the stone. You find that you can now turn the sign like a dial. All right, so. We need to turn these in the I think it's and I think that's the order we go in the end. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Mouth first, of course. And the mouth is obviously the one at the right there. Yeah, it's this guy. Um, and then I think it's it's almost just... I don't think that's quite right. Let me try it. Yes. Finally, you feel the Dark One sign settle. You pull I always get confused with the one that's the sense and retrieve a damp but readable scroll from its depths. It is the Dark One's bone ritual. Yay! You retrieve the Dark One sign from the monster. I feel like the, uh, the cultists are sort of the equivalent of the people who use password123 as their password. Oops. Wrong spell. No, right spell. They're like, eh, by the time anybody gets out there and fights the multiple Chernobyl and so forth. Well, they didn't count on those necessarily. But the Chernobyl are them, so they kind of did. Okay, we made it. Now, we can't actually get the other ritual yet. <laughs> well, what we might want to do... And let me just verify really quickly that we do have the other... Yeah, we have four. We need one more. I don't think we've been to see Katrina at the castle. I don't think so. I think we have stuff to do tonight. But we've got a day to kill. Well, So let's just check in with some people. Yep. Don't know why. You really wanted to see the skeleton. Did that. Since I just have to loop back this way anyway. Hi! Also, I didn't max quite all the stats. I didn't max honor, and the thing about that is that I sort of. We sort of neglected to do that the uh, easy way. Oh, hi, bunny. It's a bunny!
It's important to get your funny fighting stuff as you just wrote. Yeah, there's an easy way to grind honor early on. The Rosaka. A fine autumn day to Basically if you give the Rosaka flowers and then you give her more flowers. Good. She'll say no thank you, but you know, it is nice to be able to snuggle with my Olga again on this cold night. Oh. Okay. Thank you for getting Aww. us back together. But she won't take actually take them, but your honor will go up, so basically you just sort of click Fair. flowers on her a lot. Fair. You could do with Dimitri too, but he doesn't give you honor points for trying to give him flowers. No, and giving flowers to Bella, she just takes them, so you can only do that once a day. Okay, now, I don't think we went to see the doc today, so let's go do that. Yes, we desperately need more potions. Pills, please. Another potions. Actually, they're solutions. Everything in nature is of interest to the true scientist. You must learn to observe carefully and to take detailed notes. You never know what you might find. No. That did, did not. You see? Well. Mm. Yeah. Here. Here you are. And I believe we've got empty flasks to burn. I should at this point. Also, I might have used some healing Fig. pills. I have been thinking a bit about that castle on the mountain lately. Such a castle might make a wonderful environment for scientific research. Perhaps someday one of my descendants will work in a castle like that. Shameless plug for other Sierra games. Does it count as a plug if the game in question was already somewhat uh, past its prime? Always Igor happy to know you not customer. Yet. Thanks, Igor. Let's just see if Igor has anything you to say. I don't think so. Igor come back to town after dark the other night. She's Oh, nothing new. Goodbye, you do not need to go looking for trouble. It will always find you. Please take care. Uh, thank you, Dimitri. I was uh, planning on running around recklessly, you know, breaking into some castles and stuff, but since you said that, we'll do it anyway. Yeah. But carefully. Good to see you. Hmm, I don't think he has anything to say, so... Take care. Black again so soon. What have you heard lately? I oh, just thought I'd stop by, say hi. So, you haven't been... The safe town. Yeah. Let me ask you about your husband. Boris came back to visit me. We had a lot to talk about. He says he'll come back again after work. It was nice to see him. <laughs> Seemed like old times. Alright. Oh, oh, take care. Alright. I love Olga, but I also can't stand her. If that makes any sense. And we may have more dreams too. That's that's I gonna think be interesting. We do, but not really much to do for right now. Let's see. There aren't any stats left to work on. Nope, not really. Just honor. Unfortunately, 
honor will remain unmaximized. Yeah. Well. Uh, no sense in running around bashing monsters who I won't get anything from, so. Uh, yeah, all the good monsters come in at night. And, and I have things uh, to do tonight. take a nap on this next screen actually a good place to nap I've always thought after so that path very picturesque very restful here after so feels so safe after some rest I'm sure nothing bad could ever happen on this screen oh yeah Challenge. It comes in the form of two slavering necrotors. <gasps> I wish I could to think I would never see stuff. you again. It is so dangerous to wander in Mortavia. I was quite frightened for you. Where are you? Well, uh, that's nice. <gasps> out here by myself. I'm so glad you are here. You make me feel so safe. <clears throat> She's never met a true hero before. For some reason, her voice is cutting out here. Uh. Yeah, her voice still quirky. Well, let's see. Is it completely stopped? Yeah, well, this music still works, but... Okay, I don't want to flirt with her or ask her on a date. That would be... I'm true to my to one true love. It's a pity we have so little time together. I really would like to get to know you better. Yeah, um, I'm sure we'll get the chance eventually. But for now... For now, let's go back to town. Wait, aren't we going to do oh, the yes. other thing? Let's go do the other thing first. <sighs> Back to the swamp. And beyond. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. You were distracted by not flirting with Katrina. It would not be fair to my dear Dimitri. I am a paladin after all. I'm reasonably certain that's not how that works, but uh I think I'm in the wrong place again somehow. No, you're fine. It's just that the there are new trees when it's dark. All right. All right. So we have some will o' the wisp here. Gosh, and what will we do? Well, about that. Since they are. Mm -hmm. Carefully place some of the candy on the ground. And here they come. This is why you don't just go to strangers that offer you, you candy. Capture a few of the will o' wisps in a flask. Kids? And by a few of them, I mean all of them. If you happen to be a dead child soul watching this, take the lesson. When you bring the will o' wisp near the standing stone, Glowing runes appear around a six-pointed image. In the center of the runes, you can now see a small hole in the stone. Okay.
That didn't do anything. That didn't. I need to use the, the thing on it. When in doubt, use the one master key. When you touch the dark one sign to its image on the squid stone, the sign locks into place in the small hole. The points of the sign seem to point to six of the glowing runes. Okay. So now we need to spell out the correct thing. So, what could we possibly spell? Well, I see we have an A here. And a V down and at the bottom. And a V down here. Which you've got to click on twice. And then, I think some O's might be nice. Some O's. Like maybe two of those. And then a Z. How about a Z? I see one of those Which over is there. This funky looking thing here. That's totally a Z. And then, what could we possibly put after that? Hmm. Hmm. How about L? That sounds like a good idea. As you huh, complete the it worked. Of the dark one, you feel a distant rumble under the earth, as of the earth shifting, or some unimaginably huge creature stirring in its sleep. Well, oh, that seems good. Part of the squid stone opens to reveal a small compartment. You reach in to find a scroll covered with mysterious runes. The symbol of the senses at the top is the only part that you can make out. You also retrieve the Dark One sign, which pulls loose from the stone with a slurping, sucking sensation. The hole in the stone closes as you remove the sign. Okay. Now we're going to come back over here. And being a decent sort, we're going to let these Will-o'-the-Wisps go. You release the willow wisps back into the swamp. All right, you guys have fun. Keep luring travelers to their deaths. Hey, what else are you supposed to do if you're a willow wisp? I don't know. Play tag with the other willow wisps, and then travelers see you and they come out to try to catch you and die. This just happen. I suppose. Okay, now we'll go over the fence here. You deftly slip. A shiver of cold. Hi, Peter. Nope, I still haven't rescued that child you asked me about. Getting close, though. Looks like a good place to take a nap. Until morning. Darkness lies sleeping. You say the ancient words of ritual and enter its mouth. You touch its bones and they harden around you. You touch its frozen blood and the blood flows. Everywhere you walk, your life energy seeps into the darkness and the darkness grows. You have entered the heart of darkness. We're close to being done with the dreams. You wake in a cold sweat. You remember every detail of the nightmare as though it had really happened to you. See the staff, they say. You'll have pretty dreams, they say. One thing you can say about Morda. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it before. Hi, Dimitri. Good. Take it. Bye, Dimitri. I'm gonna have some breakfast. And then I think it might be time to go check out the graveyard. The graveyard. Seems like a cool place. I mean, we did have that cool encounter with that chill guy Yanos there. Yeah. He seems like such a nice sort. Once you get it's past the whole and drowning the girlfriend thing. Garlic. Then trying to kill you and You get a Making sure I have everything. Got some extra bones. Bit 
my oil. That rubber chicken that you never used. Okay. Yeah, the rubber chicken that I didn't use. Oh wait, let's go see the good dog. At this point, it's a little ridiculous. Straighten out your jacket. No, I didn't. Never mind. You always want to straighten out your jacket and retie your boots. Why wouldn't you? I'm going to see Cranium, and I think uh, he'll take uh, me more seriously if my. I have it. Uh, just practicing for my next incredible discovery. You understand? <laughs> I think he'll take me more seriously if I look a little disheveled. I think he will. You see that? You never know, some of the stuff he's saying could be important. You see? I have been thinking a bit about that castle on... Again? Alright, let's go. Alright, fair warning, there's gonna be a good bit of me getting lost in one of the upcoming sections, because I haven't done this in a long time. I've done it. I can totally get you lost. Uh, I'm sure you can. Alright. It's just wandering here. This looks like the town cemetery. What a rundown place. Uh, wrong game. It's certainly creepy here, even in the daylight hours. Now. There's these lovely crypts here. And I have this lovely set of crypt keys. Let's you see. You turn the large skeleton key in the crypt door with a sound like the groaning of an undead spirit. The massive door yawns wide open. You are in a dark, dank crypt. Filled with bar relief figures of long departed knights and statues of the Grim Reaper. Stairs lead back up to the entrance. A brightly colored copy of the Borgov Crest adorns part of the floor. Your danger sense tingles slightly as you enter the dark confines of this crypt. Something is dangerous. Alright, let's have a look at these guys. You see a coffin cover. Bearing a bas-relief sculpture of a knight. Okay. You see a coffin cover. The coffin cover is decorated with a bas-relief sculpture of a knight. Searching carefully, you see a small hole that looks like a keyhole in the sculpture. Okay, so there's a keyhole that we don't have a key to. Let's see what else we can find in here. Okay, so there's Grady on the floor. Let's see. Hmm. Blue. Orange. Green. Red. Oops. It's blue, orange, red. Yeah, I think it's gonna be mad at me now. And then green. And then green. Some of the stones on this crest. Yes, I know that. Start at the beginning. Blue. Orange. Red. red. Green. Green. Orange. Orange. Violet. Violet. There we go. Spelling out the name Borgov in colors has caused a secret Poor compartment yellow. to open in the crest. Inside well, they is wouldn't a small be called Borgovy, that would be add to your keyring. Borgovy. Alright, let's see if that kind of Borgov like, you know, will get me in here. The small key from the crest opens a lock in the relief. You open the coffin lid to reveal a dark passageway leading deep into the mountainside. Well, you know what to do when you find one of those. Go in! After following the dark passage for several minutes, you come out into a castle chamber. 
The bookcase closes behind you, and there is no obvious way to open it again. All right, well, we're in the castle now. Does that merit a new save? It does. We are in the castle. All right. Now, I don't remember which way we go, but I think we go through that door. I also think, since we're in the castle... Enemy territory behind enemy lines. Carefully oiled. We should take some precautions. All you can hear are distant creaks and groans and the beating of your own heart. You don't see any sign of life or movement beyond the door. We have technically two destinations. Yes. doors aren't locked because you don't know how to pick locks. Which is very considerate of the residents of the castle, whoever they may be. Yeah, they only lock the doors if you're a thief. You carefully oil. Actually, at this point, we know that Katrina is a resident of the castle, right? She told us. All you can hear... You catch a brief glimpse of the elusive flash of wings on the other side of the door. Oh, good. Batters. No problem. You sense danger in the air, flapping on bat-like wings around you. Oh man. Jump! That's a good way to avoid the thing coming at you in the air. Well, I can't parry them. They don't have weapons. It flew into my sword. <laughs> it flew into my sword! Alright. Uh... Careful, you only have nine of those. Now I need my oil again. Carefully or you put your ear up against the door and listen. Don't hear anything, okay. Peering through the keyhole, you see no threatening activity. Cool. You straight you straighten up. No. I mean I do want to make a good impression when I meet the Hmm. This looks interesting. Straighten out the crest. The bookshelf open. Hmm. Normal scene bedroom. You carefully order. All right. All you can hear are distant creaks and groans, and you don't see. And this castle is certainly atmospheric. Must oil everything. You carefully. There, I have the best oiled door hinges when I'm done with this place. You put your ear up against. Peering. See, just one of the many services. Okay. Okay, so from here, I believe you ultimately want to go both directions. I don't I remember do, which one you do first. I think that I want to go this way first. You carefully. 
All you can hear a dis You don't Still my movement, still no sounds. That's good, let's get through. Mm, this might be wrong. I think this is the second one. Yes, I also said you can't get into it yet. Yeah. Well you can't really do anything until nighttime. All you can hear, you don't see any. You care? Yeah, it's interesting. For such a big, prestigious castle, they have really short doorways. <laughs> All you can hear, a dis. You don't see any. Well, and the rooms are pretty small. Well, they're probably very long the other direction, I just can't. Oh, bother, I don't remember. Oh, shoot. What the map looks like here. Let me just check something here real quick. Uh, it's like midday, you've got plenty of time to figure this place out. Be careful. I think this is wrong, but let's try it. All you can hear. You don't. Although I think we can actually hear something down here. You care? You put your ear up against the door. Peering through the keyhole, you see no threatening activity. Yeah, I don't think I want to go. Well, we actually managed to get lost. Well, there's actually three places I would consider interesting in the castle. Yeah. And thus far, we have found what we think is one of them. This doesn't look right. That looks like the dungeon to me. Yes, which one of my stories there is actually something interesting in this direction. The door hinges squeak in protest. Oh, shoot. No, it's a library. That's great. Be careful. Be careful. Shelves are full of incredibly exciting works, such as 250 years of boyar ledgers and first grade writing samples. All you can hear. You don't see. We did manage to get lost. That's fine. I know it's somewhere. That's the dungeon. Yes, and, and we don't. You want sense to do danger this at the bottom of the stairwell. Maybe it has something to do with the two ghouls Wait, who's in the guarding dungeon? the lower door. You hear voices at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Boring. Uh, this is definitely boring. Hey. Dungeons is always guarded, and we's the guards. But why guard a dungeon when there's no one in there? We got to guard something, don't we? Else we don't got the job. There, eh, well, it's still boring. Okay, well, that's interesting.
<laughs> the match is really something, ain't she? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I even liked the kid. Shame they keep her all the way on the other side of the kiss. Yeah. It's the Arabies guy I can't stand. Arabies, huh? Like we was fooled or something. You got it. That guy gives me the creeps. Interesting. Interesting. Actually educational. See, getting lost works out in our favor. I'm not sometimes. lost. I am momentarily misplaced. Or that direction. No. This is as far as we went this direction. So what if we went further? This castle is You care? I'm not entirely sure how it all fits together, like in actual Put your ear up against space. It. Peering through the keyhole. I don't know, but there's a lot of sort of spirally staircases. Some of them go up, some of them come down. That's nice. Be careful. What is that giant chest doing there? The door hinges squeak. What? But I oiled them. You feel a strong sense of sorrow and loss. You shiver as the ghost passes through you. What? Why is there a ghost in the middle of the day? Inside the castle? Yeah. Okay, I'm officially lost. Let's keep going. Oil, listen. For some reason, oil in that last door didn't work. Yeah, that was weird. You careful? You put your ear up against the door. Peering through the keyhole, you see no threat. Ah, so you want to be on the other side of that door. You feel a strong sense of... Or here, I guess, you can chill with the ghost. I think in order to get back to the other room, I want to be on this side. I guess we'll see what happens. All right. Why don't you save? <sighs> I'm gonna go oil this hinge again first. I hope it takes this time. Yeah. You carefully... We're not that lost. We're hardly lost at all. We know we're on one side of the Great Hall. Yes, now how am I supposed to get to the other side? Walk across it during the daytime. But I'm supposed to be able to start on the other side. I believe, yes, there, there was an earlier point where we could have gone a different direction. I think we went the wrong way somewhere. You shiver as Okay, maybe I'll leave the screen because the ghost keeps going through me. There. And like take a nap right here. Well, well, how bad can it be? Worst case, we have to go somewhere else to nap. After right? some rip. All right, let's see what time it is. We got several more naps in here. Up. Seems like a nice, comfy room to After some nap in. I'll just hang out with the safe here. In a safe room. Yes, after some rest, I feel so much better. Look at how depleted I was. After some. After some. Alright. 
I just like to point out it's day 20. We've been in Mordavia. Less than three weeks. Carefully and look at all that you've done here. Alright. You feel a strong you shiver. Yes, I maxed my stats for one thing. You carefully your hand passes right through the trying to get the ghost on this thing. You put your ear up against the door. Okay, maybe we do have to be on Peering the Peering through the keyhole, you see no threatening activity on the other side of the door. Yeah, I think I should go back. You don't want to walk through the vampire castle in the middle of the night. No, I think what I should do instead. Let's go back. I think if I go through on... Um, You're going to find your way to it the other side. Yeah, because I think I have to be on the other side in order to eavesdrop on that. Yeah, I just think you can walk across the room. Yes, but I need to know my way out of there. Once I'm there. I suppose. You feel a strong sense of... There's another ghost. There wasn't a ghost here previously. It's like Pac-Man. They're spawning. You careful... Peering through the key. What? What? That, that makes no sense. Okay. Definitely lost. Didn't you Carefully leave? Oil. Well, at any rate, you're in the right position now. Yes, I just don't know how I got here. <laughs> you walked through the Great Hall. Yes, but I didn't walk through the Great Hall to get you to the other side of it. The door. I'm not cutting this entire segment. I'm just gonna let people see us get lost and confused in this game that we have played so many times. That's okay. I always used to make mom play this part. Me too, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> That's what. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I shouldn't go through here yet. No, it's the other one. Th this is the one that leads to the crypt. Pretty sure. See the candelabra on the wall? Yeah. Okay, so I think I can find my way now. All right, let's nap. I think. Power napping. I could be totally wrong about that though. So. After some. After some rest. Your voice is beyond the upper door. Two people seem to... You feel an almost overwhelming sense of danger beyond the upper door. Something, or someone, lies in wait there for the unwary. You carefully oil the door... Okay. You carefully open the door just a little, so you can hear better and look through the crack. Everything is going according to plan. My plan. I am not interested in your petty revenge scheme. You cannot trust him. He will attempt to destroy you the moment he realizes what you truly are. 
No, he is already attracted to me. I want him to act from his own free will and not be some puppet whose string I hold. After all, if I only wanted a puppet, I could have used you. There will come the day, Katrina, when I will be the Dark Master, and you will be only a memory. <laughs> you would love to destroy me, wouldn't you? You hated me from the moment we met, but you thought you could use me, didn't you? You were blinded by your own ego. I have always been your master, and you, my mere apprentice. <laughs> I will have my revenge. On whom? The hero or myself? Both of you. <laughs> oh, it is so easy to make you lose your temper. That is why you will never be the dark master. You let your overwhelming pride override your thinking. Well, that was educational. Everything seems healthy and in order over there. Now let's go, uh, go do the thing we're actually here for. Going this way again. You can all you can. And yes, we're just gonna re-oil all the doors since I've had it happen twice where I oiled in the door and didn't stick. Never hurts to put more oil on a door, right? All you can hear. Castle still kind of creeps me out. Oh, what's to be afraid of? Vampires? Carefully. Oh, but, uh. Katrina, Goons. Katrina wouldn't hurt us, and Adavis can't. All you can hear are ghosts. The ghosts don't hurt you. They're really unpleasant to walk through. It's hardly their fault, is it now? Yeah. So many stairs. Yep. Alright, now here's the secret passage. Um, no, from behind that door. You know, whose bedroom this is is something Carefully of a mystery. Well, Straighten out. All you can. I think the answer is no ones anymore. Also, why does it have curtains but no window? It's 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 a decor thing. Actually, most of the castle appears to have no windows. You careful. Put you. Okay. Now, I want to go this way. You can't. You can't. You straighten out your. No. All you can hear. And Keyhole, you can see what appears to be a child's bedroom. A large and dangerous looking ape like creature sits near the door. Ah, oh, this looks promising. Well, our danger sense isn't going off yet. No, so that must mean everything's fine. I'll just waltz in. You sense that something is very wrong here, but not immediately dangerous. The creature does not seem to be openly hostile just very protective of the child. 
There is a feeling of coldness about the child that fills you with sorrow and a touch of fear. Yeah, those paladin senses. Who is it, Toby? Oh. Voice actor for Toby must have had one. It's not polite to slam the door in strangers' faces, is it, Toby? <laughs> then ask the stranger what he wants. It doesn't. Uh, hello. You say hello. Hello. Do you live in the castle now too? Toby's my best friend. We play games and tell stories, and I never had a real friend before. <laughs> Toby says I'm his best friend, too. My name is Tanya, and this is Toby. <coughs> What's your name? My mommy and daddy don't like me anymore. I did something bad, and now they don't want to see me ever again. Really? Sometimes I miss my mommy and daddy. I know, Toby. You and Aunt Trina take good care of me. I wouldn't want to leave you ever. But I still miss my mommy. What do you mean you just leave Toby that? used to visit me at the inn. My mommy and daddy would not like it if they saw Toby. They wouldn't let me play with him, so I didn't tell them about him. One day, Toby brought me a beautiful doll. I never had a real doll before. I named her Vanna. But when my mommy saw Vanna, she got real mad. She tried to make me tell about Toby. My mommy and daddy yelled at me. They scared me. They took Vanna away, and they wouldn't let me see her ever again. I didn't want them to do that to Toby, so... I ran away with it. Aunt Trina says my mommy and daddy won't like me now. She says they will be scared of me like they were scared of Vanna. I don't want my mommy and daddy scared of me. I will never go back again. I see. I know, Toby. You should go now. I don't want to talk about bad things. Okay, let's talk about something else. This is where I live now. I have this whole room to myself and Toby. Sometimes I get to go to the hall with Aunt Trina and play with Cuddles. Cuddles is Aunt Trina's pet hound. He's my friend too. Ah yes, Cuddles, the Necrotar. Aunt Trina says she will be my friend and take care of me. I like her. She gives me nice things. She sent Toby to me. She says, I'll be her little girl forever and ever. That's the place with the big fireplace and all the fancy statues. Sometimes I dance for Aunt Trina there. It's fun. Except when the dark man is there. I don't like him. I'm getting a sense that not many people like a certain someone. I don't like the dark man. I wish Aunt Trina never brought him here. Mean. I stick up my tongue at him all the time. <coughs> Toby doesn't like the dark man either. Toby says the dark man can't be trusted. See, you no one likes him. Away from him. We should stay away from him, I guess. Yeah, it does sound like it. What about dancing? Aunt Trina says I dance very well. I like to dance, especially up in the air. That's really fun. You don't say. Sometimes Aunt Trina and I dance all over the room. We dance on top of the statues and everything. It's like flying around and around. 
Really? Very like I should imagine. Tell me about vampires. That's a scary thing. That's how come we always used to have garlic all around at the inn. Garlic? Mommy and I used to braid the garlic and put it up all over the place to keep out the bad things. I don't like the smell of garlic. I had to wear garlic around my neck all the time. Now I have a pretty necklace instead. See? Isn't it pretty? It's very pretty. The necklace is on a choker chain, completely covering the little girl's throat. Not shown in this illustration for unstated reasons. A long time ago, I used to live at the inn. But now I get to live here. I don't have to be afraid of the bad things all the time. <laughs> now I have Toby to protect me. Well, that's nice. From the, uh, bad things. Like, uh... Let's see what Toby has to say. About vampires. Toby says you ask too many questions and you need to go away now. Toby, you're being mean. <laughs> I like how she dutifully translates and then says that. Tell me about yourself, Toby. Toby says he's here to protect me and make sure no one will hurt me. You know, Toby, I feel like we have some things in common here. Tell me about Tanya, Toby. Toby says I'm supposed to stay in my room and not talk to strangers. Tell me about the castle. Toby says that we live in the castle and you should go away. Toby, it's not nice to tell people to go away. You're supposed to ask them to go. <laughs> oh, Toby. Oops. Toby might be my favorite character. Alright, let me tell you a little bit on myself. Tell about yourself. I never met a real hero before. Why'd you come here? You start to tell what you're doing here. Oh, Toby. Toby, it's not polite to interrupt. How many times do I have to tell you that? <laughs> you tell her about the innkeepers. <laughs> I miss my mommy and my daddy. <laughs> But I can never go home. Not now. <laughs> Toby says this is my home now. Okay, well, let's see if maybe I have something useful. What is that? Toby, let him in. <laughs> Start with the inn. Work her way down. You tell her about the inn and how sad it is without her. If I went back to the inn, I'd never be afraid of the dark again. <laughs> Toby, ever the pragmatist. Toby says that everyone would be afraid of me now. I don't want them to be afraid of me. You tell Tanya. How our mommy misses her. And she pumps lots of iron, I miss too. my mommy, too. Sometimes I want to cry, but I can't anymore. I just feel sad. In Quiet Wham Ones... You tell about Irana's staff, and how it can make Tanya back into a real little girl again. I 
like this staff. It always made such pretty flowers in town. You say it will make me all better and I won't be a bad thing anymore? You nod your head. Oh, Toby, I can see my mommy and daddy again. <laughs> Um, Toby asks, what else will the staff do? You try to explain about sacrifice. Toby... Toby says he understands. He says you should take us to the staff now. So I can be with my mommy and daddy again. Just sort of sneak oh, through. It feels weird here. Kinda happy. <laughs> I'm scared. It's Toby's face in this particular sequence. That's I know the you'll thing. protect me, Toby, but who will protect you? Look at his eyebrows. Pull up in the middle. Okay, Toby. I'll protect you. You cast the ritual of release. Which I just, you know, know how to do. This should make Piotr happy. The sacrifice happy. of life for love. Your love for the child is great. You see Toby silently nod his head. Will you trade your life to give life to the child? <laughs> Will you die willingly? For the one you love. <gasps> no, Toby, no! So shall the sacrifice be done. Hi, Toby. So is the sacrifice complete. I am again the staff of Irana. Thank you for traveling. Deadly Staff Express. I'm so sorry, Toby. <laughs> I didn't protect you too good, did I? <laughs> I love you too, Toby. You take the sobbing child in your arms and carry her to the inn. You awaken her parents and are overwhelmed by their gratitude and joy. It is long before you manage to escape to the peace of your own room for what is left of the night. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Okay. I think what I'll do here, I'll go say hi to everyone. I must thank you for saving our Tanya. You have brought joy again into our lives. We are... <laughs> Ah, in your debt. Okay, first order of business, I need to be running everywhere again. Uh, you don't get to say hi. I don't get to say hi. You eat your plain but nourishing breakfast. It has more than a bit of garlic added for spice. Lee, I don't know how we can ever thank you enough. It's such a joy to have my little Tanya home again. I remind the innkeeper that the vampires are still in the castle, and there may be other attempts at getting Tanya. We understand, and we will make certain no vampire can come near her again. Technically, the first time the vampires didn't. You tell again how Toby sacrificed himself for Tanya. He may have looked like a monster, but he obviously had a heart and mind of great kindness. Speak without moving my mouth here. All right, let's see. Let's start with Tanya. I didn't like him. He didn't like me. He didn't like Katrina either. They were always having fights. But he had to do what she told him to do, and that made him very mad. I like 
Katrina. She was kind to me and gave me lots of nice things. She even taught me to read and write. But I'll never go back to her. I want to stay with my mommy and daddy. Toby was my best friend in all the world. And I miss him. I wish he could come and live with us here. I'm happy to be home again. Everyone in town has come to see me and talk to me, and it's fun to be important. I like it. Hello. Hi, my Tanya is her cheerful, loving self again. I could never thank you enough for the kindness you have shown us all. Oh, you're welcome, Bella. Tell me about yourself. I knew Tanya was alive somewhere. Hmm. I never lost hope that she would return. Bella, you heard his story. Tanya was dead. Hanan dead. A Nosferatu. She is fine right now, isn't she? As long as she's alive and well, what does it matter? Oh, Bella. Toby might think somewhat differently about that. I don't understand with all this talk about vampires and Tanya. She has returned healthy and happy, and uh, this is what's important. Of course, I will never forgive the woman who stole my baby from me. Still, I think I can understand her a little bit. Uh, I, too, have always wanted a child such as Tanya. Oy. I am only overjoyed to have my Tanya back. <laughs> How about you, Yuri? Oh, she is her joyful self again. The sound of a child's voice is the sweetest of music. We will do our best to show our love and never, never let her be afraid of the dark again. Okay. I have stuff. always found it difficult to express emotion. Mordavian men are not supposed to show such things. Yet I cried freely when you brought Tanya back to us. I cannot remember ever being so, so happy. I do not know what to make of Tanya's stories about vampires. It is hard to imagine my lovely daughter as an undead. Gladly, though, I would go to the castle and drive a stake through the heart of the one who stole our daughter from us. Yeah, please don't do that, because then her servant will, you know, do bad things. Alright, well. Ciao! You hear a chorus of responses, some coming from the kitchen. Goodbye, and thank you. Who's in the kitchen? Um, other villagers? Minding the stove while Bella's not serving food. You have brought real joy to Mordavia by bringing Tanya back. When she was stolen, it was as if all the laughter here had been taken as well. You gave us back our happiness. Oh, I'm just glad I could. Good day again. Oh, um, that's kind of a mood whiplash there. Good to see you. Alright, does he have anything to say? I am well, and I hope that you are also. Why, I am. Thank you, Dimitri. I know only what legends tell of them. Undead, which drink the blood of the living. We have always had stories of them here. I have never known anyone here to be harmed by a vampire. That we know of for certain. Okay, so uh, being he doubts turned us. into one isn't... He doubts us. Any the rumors? town is quiet now, and the rumors are few, except for the ones about you. <laughs> I have not spoken of it before, because I know they worshipped it in this, then, that. Oh, we already heard that. Uh, go see Olga, maybe? Well, actually, I think Take what we're care. going to do here is uh, just save the game and cut the stream. We will come back and do the rest of the end game. At a later time. That's fair, I suppose. Okay. Man, we got so many saves. I know. I went real crazy with them there. 
just, you know, saving all over the place in the castle. All right, that's it for now. See you next time. Thanks for joining us. Ta-ta.